Welcome back everyone, I'm Ray and today we are going to take a look at Remembrance Vessels. Oh my god, that's a, that, that's a word and a half. Because you guys advised me to do so and although I am late, I will do that. And I even have a plan. I want to try and go through the Remembrance Vessels in the order that we met the Flame Chasers. I do not know if I will remember the correct order. But I do know that that means that we start with who I so let's go because we haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to who I yet even though she is she, she is important but like <laughs> to be fair compared to the others that we know nothing about it's more interesting to, to learn what we don't know right anyway that doesn't matter get comfy and let's go I'm so curious. I'm so curious. I have the feeling it will be freaking sad. Mm. Mm. Hi. Mm. Can get over how innocent and sweet and nice and, and shy she, she sounds here. <gasps> What picture? What picture? Oh no, it will get sad. Oh. Oh, Mate, Mate, you're here to ask private question because we can't. You have to do that. Please continue. <laughs> <gasps> Wait! Please tell me she does remember Himiko. No! I mean, it's understandable if she doesn't remember Himiko. I mean, because she maybe chose not to put those memories in there or whatever, or always delete them. But not even remembering her? No, 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 no. Surely just this picture, right? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they are whiplashing me. I'm like, yeah, let's help her. She's like, no, there's really no need. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's like that. We can tell you. that. I, I don't even know if that's a good idea. I mean, maybe it was smart of Hua to decide that this Hua should be reset all the time. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm really not sure. Oh, yeah, that that's a good start. Yeah, give us the picture. It's so mean. Why would they do that? Why would they give us a picture of Hua and Himiko? That's so... Uh, Typical. <laughs> okay, break from the binding. <gasps> right, they are all talking about the... <sighs> not binding, tragedy. Tragedy of the Hersha of binding? I'm so curious. The Hersha of binding. Yes, thank you. Using Honkai energies, it created a pocket dimension in which Honkai energy was rejected. This paradoxical ability was completely outside anyone's expectations. Humanity would pay the price for that. Why do you have to put it like that? Oh my, no. We know. It's all horrible. Thanks. What were once dying moments to be used for? To grasp that one chance for victory? Or to allow oneself to die in a peaceful dreamscape? Both voices rang across the young woman's mind all at once. This is too cruel, don't you think? Last chance. You can use Feng Huang Down's throughput to give yourself a sweet dream. Duration? Forever. No, I want to use it some other way. You'll forget why you did this today. 
Are you alright with that? I don't care. You'll forget yourself too, is that alright? It is. One day you will know the weight of the decision you are making. But till that day comes, Ping Huang down, level 1 output. Go on, take it. One of the voices dissipated. The seeds of the past flowed away along with it. And yet, the young woman's resolve grew clearer as a result. She knew what she wanted to do, what she had to do, even if it was just for a moment. Before she could lose consciousness utterly, she saw a violet crystalline flower enfold her, and through the crevices of the flower's petals, she could see a ball of flame. That flame descended from the heavens as if making to destroy everything, even the deathly silence that surrounded her. You've done it, Hua. We've sacrificed too much. Now, the time has come to pay it all back. Ah, uh, there's a lot. There's a whole lot. So, did Hua... Uh, change things with the Feng Huang down because of the hash of binding. I'm still not sure about the, the whole order of things, like when did she get Feng Huang down? Actually, I also forgot from which hash the power is used. <laughs> oh no, like, I, I'm just I'm just now questioning myself, was Feng Huang down's power hash of binding's power or is... It, no, hash of binding's power is what Theresa uses with... I forgot the name. Of a weapon, oh no. Anyway, you know what I mean. But that means did Hua defeat the Hasha of Binding with Feng Huang Down? But she could. Just that they were thinking about that to use Feng Huang Down to give herself a sweet dream instead of maybe dying. I mean, we know that Hua never died, which makes her the only flame chaser that even though she has all of these memories. She didn't die. I don't know if that's sad or incredible or both. Actually, it, it, it is. It, it is. <laughs> uh, she had the choice, though. And of course, Hua, the way she is, chose not to use it for herself. But she, she forget. Did she use Feng Huang down? You'll forget yourself, too. So it was about memory manipulation? The thing is, it, here, it, break from the binding, the hash of binding, so it's all themed with the hash of binding. I, I don't quite get the connection here, but I, I, I guess that we'll have to wait till the next one. <laughs> also love the crystals. Ah, it's so nice to get it. Anyway, uh, did I not? Did I not do that? I did. <laughs> I'm always here for more questions. What is That's a good point. <gasps> Wait, I never thought about that. So did they either regret doing that? Or just don't want this humanity go down the same path, maybe? Oh, that was probably a hard question, maybe? <sighs> I agree. I don't know what exactly they do. And I hope, <laughs> I truly hope that they never show the parts of the operation or operation starting or whatever, because I do not want to see the flame chasers even more in pain. I I, I, I don't think I can. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, right. Right, right. I, I didn't meet all the Manchester's, not all the flame chasers. Right, right. Could that mean, though? Is it is it stupid to think that maybe other mantises might be alive, other than the flame? <laughs> I wanted to say other than the flame chasers, but they aren't even really alive. Only who was alive? 
So the chances are no. I, I mean, not only Hua, Kevin too. And Sue. Maybe. Probably. Why did I forget them earlier? I think my brain is lagging a bit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What does that mean? So they they didn't have or they couldn't use the full potential, maybe? Oh. Oh, just a single case of a person that couldn't could only match the strength of a gifted individual who didn't go through the mo mutation. Like, the thing is, I'm thinking Kalpas, but that wouldn't make any sense because we are talking about the ones who are not in the flame chasers. But if we're talking about a gifted individual who d didn't go through the mutation, or I mean, like, you know, who was strong from the beginning, that could be Kalpas, but of course there could be more. But, so they were mantis some or this one case was a mantis but didn't go through the mutation what does that exactly mean do i want to know what that means do i even want to ask that <laughs> is it though like is it such a leap in this civilization we have humans becoming herrschers and still remaining in control. That that sounds like a leap if you come from the previous era, I think, personally. Like, <laughs> just imagine being from the previous era and hearing that now they are herrschers again, but they fight for humanity. Would you believe that? Never. I... I think... I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> しかしそのしかしその代価は多くの人たちの命です I knew it'd be sad. I knew it'd be sad. Oh, that is so incredibly sad. And also, just this hero talk, it's like not only when they th threw <laughs> basically their world ending. But people had expectations for them to be the heroes. It's honestly, it's 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 no wonder that Kevin turned out that way. He did. It's it's literally not surprising. It's more surprising that Hua turned out the way she did. That's the surprising thing for me here. <laughs> but that's so sad. <sighs> yeah, she's right. It wasn't a success, but also. I don't know, I have the feeling, why would we get taught all of this about mantises if we wouldn't use this kind of concept or whatever to fight against Honkai in the future, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking. I like to overthink, you know? <laughs> you do. Okay, drift apart. Okay, I have no idea what that could be about. Oh, Mobius really came to the operating table after that incident. What incident? However, since the disaster at hand was entirely of her own making, she had to make amends. Since the disaster at hand was entirely of her own making. Oh no, I need to know more. Doctor, this isn't your first time making such a mistake. You know that sealing the 12th Hersha has taken a heavy toll on us, but you still conducted unauthorized research without anyone knowing. Unauthorized research. On this 12th Hersha, right? We can't afford a trial and error approach, Doctor. If Hua never wakes up again, the consequences may very well be too grave for any of us to bear. Wait, this is a direct continuation from the last one, right? Actually, I don't quite know if it's a direct continuation, but it sounds like that. Because in the last one, Hua did something which would could be terrible for her and he, if Hua never wakes up again. Wait, what did Mobius do again? Like, every time I think, okay, she just did the operating and then some research, no. <laughs> Mobius does a lot, but what does she... 
what did they do? Like, did they use the 12th Hersha power somehow with the Feng Wang down? Or is this something else entirely? In the blinding light, the one lying on the operating table was none other than the comatose Hua. That, yeah, that, that, mmm. It seems we don't know a whole lot about what happened to her. Consequences. <laughs> what can they be? Sentencing me to death? Save your breath. They simply can't do it. And won't do it. Like you said, Fushi, we're close to having nothing to lose. The same goes for this life of mine. I mean, that's a fair point. And desperate times call for desperate measures. I taught you that. Oh! Wait! Oh my god, now I'm even more curious about Fushi and Nuva's um, connection to Mibius. Because if she taught her that, were they kind of like disciples, more or less? She took the instrument that was passed to her as she spoke. May's direction was wrong from the start. Making it into a divine key is an utter waste. Is she talking now about the twelfth key or about the Feng Huang Down? And no, I have no idea if that's that's the same Hersha power or not. But also it wouldn't... Would it? Ugh. But yours may not be the right one either, Doctor. I don't understand. Transforming all surviving humans into a virus-like life form similar to the twelfth Hersha. How is it different from wiping out the human race? Ow. Oh. Then how is what we're doing now any different from what we've done? You may be able to deny your own existence, Fushi. What you can't deny is that the concept of humanity will never be limited to a fixed form. Yeah, I can see that's that's Mibius' whole theme. And to some degree, I get it. But transforming all surviving humans into a virus-like life form, similar to the 12th Hersha, who is Rin, right? That really doesn't save the human race. I mean, like, not... Mm, that's the thing, right? Like, I think, I feel like most people feel like as long as humans are human-looking and have the basic human characteristics, it's it would make humanity, the human race, survive. But as soon as they turn into something completely different, it's not humanity anymore. And I mean, I feel like I'm kind of on that same wavelength, too. But Mobius is just, just on a whole other level. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting to think about, but I don't think that would be like saving the human race. Actually, wait, wasn't that what uh, was it? Faust in in Durandal's visual novel. Wasn't he kind of like Mobius in that mindset? Because he was like, ah, uh, what what was it? Kind of like a hive mind. To make humanity live forever? Isn't that kind of the same... At least theme or topic of thinking like Mobius? Maybe I'm overthinking. <laughs> you know I'm good at that. But this is what also interests me. You may be able to deny your own existence, Fushi. That, that for me means that Mobius also did something to Fushi. And Nuba. But maybe like differently? How is it different from wiping the human race? Then, it, then how is what we're doing now any different from what we've done? This part I agree. I mean, they made humans into mantises and m probably done more than I know right now. But that's so interesting. What you can't deny is that the concept of humanity will never be limited to a fixed form. Yeah, if we think of humanity as a concept, Maybe, but I I still don't think um, whether it's Mantis or Project Stigma. We've opened that door a long, long time. She's she's not wrong with that, Doctor. After this operation, I'd like to take Nua away from your lab. Wait, so both of them were working for or with her? Sure, you can go wherever you want, but for now, do your duty as my assistant. Focus on the surgery, and we might be able to save her. I mean, we know that Hua lives, but the more we learn, the more I'm questioning at what cost. Yes, doctor. Oh god. <sighs> On the operating table, Hua finally opened her eyes, but quickly snapped them shut again in the glare of the surgical lights. How do you feel, Hua? Can you hear me? I'm Mobius. 
Learn how to control your body, Hua. It still belongs to you. Oh, was that when she first got turned? No, she she turned on the battlefield, right? Or oh, was that before that operating? But uh, it doesn't feel like it. No, this should be at this point. No, 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 no. She was, she was becoming a mantis or I forgot the other term that she is. I forgot it. But she became that way earlier, not just at the 12th Hersha. So what exactly did she do here? And, and wait, she had to control, she had to learn everything again. And that kind of reminds me of Möbius. Because Möbius had this whole, I don't know, reborn thing. Where she also was kind of like, she has to learn to control. Not, not, not in that sense, but similar, I don't know. And if you remember who I tell me, what did you see when you were possessed by her? A dark space. There was nothing, except for a little girl, sitting there, the whole time, crying in the void. Oh, <laughs> did she see Rin? I mean, crying in the void makes me obviously think of Sirin, but still, did she see Sakura's sister, but possessed by her? What the heck? Did Möbius try to get the Hersha of Will from, or get that connection to form within? Like, did she try to make a human Hersha at this point? My mind is an overload. I, <laughs> there is so much. Psychotherapy, that's what we all need after this game and every character in this game. <laughs> Let's do it again. Hua, you have to trust me. We can't make any progress if you're so wary of me. I'll try. Then close your eyes again. Don't fear the darkness before you. Relax. Now tell me what you see. Eyes. I see eyes. Red eyes. Red eyes is everywhere. No, before that. What did you see before all the eyes appeared? Relax, Hua. I know you can do it. It's right there. You're there. I saw a playground. Spotlight swept past my feet. A girl sat next to me. I think she was talking to me. I couldn't make out what she said. No, Hua, not that far back. Give it another thought. After carrying the unconscious Kalpas to Möbius, you didn't evacuate. You returned to that dangerous battlefield, didn't you? Yes. You didn't even flinch at the 11th Herrscher. Wait, I know I should first read everything before I think, but this, this is not Hua's memory, right? Right? Or is it Hua's memory? But yeah, no, psychotherapy. So it could be that she kind of forgot everything because of trauma and now she tries to remember. Is that it? I'm literally not sure, but after carrying the unconscious Kalpas to Möbius. I could never imagine Kalpas unconscious like that. <laughs> That's just shocking to me. I literally want all of their story in an anime. This, this is, I think that, that's the dream now. Th that would be, just imagine all of these scenes. Everything we learn here in an anime. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Okay, I'm going to continue to read. We didn't even flinch at the 11th Hersha. So this is all before Sakura's sister died. Just so that I have kind of like a fixed point, you know. We detected the energy reaction of the 8th divine key there. Think harder, Hua. What exactly did you do with it? It's something only you can do. You should be able to remember. Yeah, probably. Oh my god. If Hua had trauma from the 11th Hersha. And there were more. Oh no. Peng Huang down. Level 1 output. I found her. The 11th Hersha. We defeated her. Yes, Hua, you did it. You gave us the only chance to pull humanity back from the brink of extinction. After contemplating this for a moment, the girl finally sat up in bed, but her eyes were still dull and hazy, as if cloaked in a fog. So this is the price. The girl looked at her empty palm, and then the man dressed as a doctor. 
Her eyes were still rather empty, seemingly insensitive to her surroundings. So, how long have I slept? About 120 hours. Don't worry, Huel. It's all over. Welcome back. Feng Huang downs level 1 output. In all honesty, no one predicted it would damage the user's brain so severely. I'll do my best to help you recover, but it'll take a lot of time. Hua, where are you going? And she used it later on too, right? So was that the first time she used Feng Huang Down's level 1 output? And later, Mubius wanted her to use this for something else, right? Because that was after the 12th Hersha, and this was basically the time of the 11th Hersha. Oh my god, there's so much, there's so much. The girl got out of the hospital bed and walked out of the consulting room. And by the way, Sue is kind of like this, this, this I don't know, sweet and calming doctor. <clears throat> I would like to go to the doctor if he's... Anyway, <laughs> the girl got out of the hospital bed and walked out of the consulting room. I want to go for a walk outside. So, there is still an outside, right? Well, we lost many things, but not everything. Imagine living in that kind of time. Where you have to question- you, you were asleep for long. I mean, it wasn't even that long. It was long, but not terribly long, right? And you have to ask, is there even still an outside? Like, oh my god. The girl left the consulting room. She had not been able to retrieve all her memories, which was the price she paid. And in fact, that was the only thing she remembered. So she decided to witness everything with her own eyes. To witness the tragedy that ended long ago. To witness her own role in the tragedy. And I want to witness all of this in an anime. <laughs> I will not give up hope. I, I will, and I think I will eventually, but like... Maybe? This is just... What? What a story? I said it at the beginning, I thought we knew almost everything, but like that was actually pretty stupid to say. <laughs> of course we don't, of course. There is so much more, and so much with Mobius too. And Feng Huang Down. Which makes me think, why can she use... Did she ever use Feng Huang Down level 1 output in the game? Did Did she... Did she learn how to, or did she just accept that she would lose her memories? I don't know. <laughs> True, there could be at any time a reset. I don't want that. <laughs> she sounds more upbeat to today, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, so there probably was a reset. Oh, maybe? Maybe I'm overthinking. Lee-san. Hi. <laughs> I have the feeling that Kalpas would sneeze if he were there. <laughs> like, was someone talking about me? <laughs> Maybe it's too, but she was like, oh, is she thinking about me? <laughs> Not yet. I can't help but be very curious, though. I mean, it's not every day that you have a human herscher. But that's kind of why we love her, no? I mean, we love and fear her. I I can't help but be a little bit curious of what would happen if Mei would agree to Mobius. I know she's just a sim, but as someone in the comments at this point, uh, I think a week or more ago pointed out, doesn't, like, having this sim that has her memories, wouldn't that still kind of, in a way, like, still have her be alive? If you put that in a solium body or whatever, and wouldn't that be the case for everyone else too? Be but ev but everyone feels so differently about the way that they are right now. It's so crazy, but like, yeah, with Otto we have that too. And I was like, when I read that comment, I was like, wait, that's a, such a good point. 
I mean, Otto, is he truly, like, can we call him alive? Basically, he just transfers all of his consciousness or memories or whatever into Solium clones. But it's not Otto, you know, it's not the original Otto body, but we still call him alive and everything. So if we would transfer those sims or the, the memories and consciousness of the sims, wouldn't that still make them alive? Now I can't help thinking about that. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> No, honestly, that's such that's such an interesting thought. But also, that makes me want them to do that. I want them to bring them back to life. Although that would cause a lot of trouble. Maybe that wouldn't be too good. But also, it would be interesting. Um, anyway. <laughs> I, I, I kind of have to disagree. Like, even though I'm scared and I don't want to see the process, what she does or how they feel or whatever, I am still too curious, you know? I'm I'm that level of curiosity that's not good for myself. <laughs> でも、不和の話を聞いて気になってきました。メビウスは一体どんな人なんですかメビウス博士、私に言わせると、彼女はメイ博士と同じ世界に変革をもたらす人です。Now that's interesting. Ooh. But like that's not past tense. She's going to change the world, is what Hua thinks. Honestly, she would. Maybe to the worst, though, but like... <laughs> That's just interesting that she kind of puts them on the same level of changing the world. Yeah, yeah I can see that. <laughs> Oh my god, Mobius is just so interesting. It's... <sighs> Codename L10461. Please tell me that 461 doesn't mean the number of that individual. Because that would mean there is a lot of... I don't know, experiments? Mm. <laughs> oh, um... I just... <laughs> Like, you know, my eyes just scanned the text for, for a second and I was just like, we've killed him hundreds of, hundreds of times, what? Okay, yes, Hua, we've killed him hundreds of times. However, unlike the other duplicates of the 10th Tasha, he showed no signs of wanting to commit suicide. <laughs> what? <laughs> As the two of them walked down the corridor, the sounds of their footsteps were in perfect sync. It was you who stopped him, so I wanted you to come along. Oh, right, Legion, right? Legion 10 and then the number. Oh. No, wait, wait, that, that's right, right? No? Yeah. No, that, that should be correct. If I remember correctly, he possesses a fraction of the Hasha of Death abilities, and even those have been severely weakened. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course, we've killed him hundreds of times. That, that makes sense then, yeah. And, and, and the duplicates? Wait, other duplicates want it? Huh. Huh. But even so, we couldn't kill him. I think that tells us something. Have you confirmed his identity, Sue? Well, your impression was not wrong. He's indeed one of the Moss. Emil, the adjutant of Kalpas. Oh no, we've heard of him. I do not want to know what Kalpa's reaction to everything here was. Actually, I want to know, but it will break my heart. The sound of their footsteps stopped, and the girl fell silent for a while. Another Hasha. Another familiar name. Would she make the same choice that he did? She did not know. Right, I think Kalpa's already chose, right? Here we are, Hua. Let me do it. This place requires different credentials. And also, I want to see Hua and Sue, like, have a talk. 
for real, for real here. Sewo seems to be everywhere, but never butting his nose into everything too much, you know. The thick metal door slowly opened. The two subconsciously held their breath as they laid eyes on the interior. The door that they opened was the only thing left in this underground cell. Everything else had been obliterated. A dark tunnel that led to nowhere persisted. Did Kalpas take him away, or...? You stay here, Sue. I'll think of a way to stop him. Pua, if it was really Kalpas who took him. I believe it has nothing to do with Kalpas. But I hope he never learns of this. Sue, please stay at the base and make sure Kalpas doesn't find out. I'll be back soon. Oh. oh no. But I think it's interesting. Sue thinks it was Kalpas, maybe. But Hua immediately believed that it has nothing to do with Kalpas, but it's probably the powers of this individual. But I hope he never learns of this. Like, I, I love seeing them be kind of gentle with Kalpas. Like, Kalpas has this really rough appearance you know he's he's very tough and all but i love them or seeing them treat him a bit different like not only like oh yeah he's, he's tough he can do this but no this affected him and we can just see that with how they are towards him and he's not even here and i <laughs> i love the writing okay <sighs> but kabas did find out didn't he or did he did he? Zero percent. Um, okay. No, again, Mobius. Mobius is so scary. <laughs> Dr. Mobius, what can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I just want to chat. Do some bonding. Sit over here. We know each other so well that there's no need for courtesies. The girl hesitated for a moment and sat down on the white bench. Yeah, I would be scared. M maybe. Honestly, if you know her, maybe you wouldn't be, be scared because they made it very clear that she doesn't force them to do anything. So, I don't have to be afraid. I'm not sure. You can be straight with me, Dr. Mobius. I know you didn't come for small talk. Come on, listen up a little, Hua. I just wanted to talk about what's been going on lately. I heard that the Swara experiment performed on you finally succeeded. Right, I think that was the word I was looking for earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's really something. Of course she's interested. If I remember correctly, the techniques being applied should be highly flawed. The survival rate is so low that it's net... net, net mm, no, I can't say that word. I don't know why. N net negligible. Is that right? That doesn't sound... no. <laughs> things did happen, but thanks to Dr. May, the experiment was a success. I think who really scares me is Dr. May, because we just hear, hear about her every now and then. But like, other than in, in flashbacks and from people talking, we've never really seen her do... like, we've never seen her in action. Like, we've never seen her like we've seen the flame chasers, for example. Ah, Dr. May. I think the person who deserves credit isn't Dr. May, but you, Hua. You're the first person to successfully awaken the Ikor through the metamorph preparation, and the first person to survive the Swara experiment. Hua, do you suppose you're dif fundamentally different from regular humans? Like, you have a special constitution. The shadow of the scholar, tormented by curiosity, slithered in the light like a snake. Okay, we get it. She is like a snake. <laughs> Maybe I was only a bit luckier than others. Honestly, that's a good point, though. What makes her different? Like, is it really just physically, or is there something that she has that others don't? The girl unconsciously looked to the ground. It was a habit of hers. When discussing things related to herself, she would always bow her head to avoid eye contact. And it was at this point that the girl suddenly realized something. The bench she was sitting on was not just a bench. <laughs> you couldn't have said it any more like, scary. Luck. <laughs> I never believed in luck, but I will validate your hypothesis. 
validates what? The girl raised her head and unexpectedly met the scholar's serpent-like eyes. Hmm. Actually, Hua, I did have something in mind when I came to see you today. The scholar moved closer to the girl on the bench, her glinting reptilian eyes reflecting the girl's wary contenance. What I have here is an intriguing experiment, and I hope you can assist me. Though no subject has survived so far, if your claim is true, <laughs> we'll surely succeed, right? I take everything back. She is freaking scary. <laughs> she can she can ask for consent all she wants, but she is so scary. <laughs> I love her so much, though. But oh my god, <laughs> she's even taking my voice away. So that's the zero percent. But wait, showing us this memory. Does that mean that whoever agreed to this experiment that no one survived so far? Actually, that's also a thing why she's very scary. She's done many experiments where a subject died. Subjects died. <laughs> Maybe it's scary. Maybe it's very scary. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah. Let's just t t continue. <laughs> I didn't know who else memory would be that intriguing. Like, okay, I thought, okay, she had this Swara thing, Mantis thing, and that's it. The rest we knew. I, I thought that, and that was really stupid of me to think. <laughs> of course there's more, but was Mobius kind of focusing on her because she's the one who survived something that no one else survived so far so she I, I am curious though like will we ever get the results of that okay that's what I thought because we were going in here a lot oh my god I don't want to stop though like this said Buddha's memory which should be Sue but I also said that we should go in the order that we got to know them. Which would make Kevin the next one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe <laughs> maybe Kevin's will be a bit lighthearted. Because Kevin had one that was more lighthearted. So I have hope. I don't know why. Also, maybe we get more dot dot dots. <laughs> Hi. Oh, okay. I just think it's funny that May just adapted his dot dot dots, but not an exception. Did you think he was an exception? Yeah, question mark. Sotonita that sounds like him. But also... <sighs> he always sounds so... Almost robotic. Like, he sounds more like a robot or like an android than an android. Believe me, I know. <laughs> but like, doesn't he? He's always like, no, there must be a reason because everything's under control, right? It's Everything is just like ordered, like planned, you know? He's always like that, which is, which just makes the story more sad, honestly. <sighs> I am curious about this one, though. Like, this Kevin. Like, this Kevin is still so incredibly different from the Kevin we know because this should be before their civilization was completely destroyed or after the final Hersha. I, I Like I said, I don't know when their memories were taken in or whatever. But like it can't be after that because most of them weren't alive after that, right? I don't know. <laughs> I, I literally don't know. But that's just so interesting. Like those... Everything after that civilization changed him 
even more or actually i wouldn't even say changed him but probably more like made him more radical or like tried trying to enforce his plans and May's orders more i don't know i want to know more of his mind like honestly he's he's like otto in that regards i i do not know what he's thinking exactly that's just nothing is under control but that's okay she got her answer right away K kevin didn't even lift a finger but the world around him suddenly stopped froze and became suffocating huh and enjoy? You guys are confusing me. What do you mean? What? What do you mean exactly? Do you mean the, f the, the, the power part? Or that everything is under control? Or was that under control more like, oh, nothing is under... I, I don't know. I don't know. Or is May able to feel that Kevin would beat her? I don't know. Like right now, we don't really have a comparison to who is the second strongest after Kevin. And I don't know if... Can those sims... I mean, can they inflict real damage on humans? Or is this all part... I, I should just continue reading. That's not that. I will not get answers to that anyway right now. Huh. So, thank you. You just confused me more, but that's fine. That's that's your job. I I, I suppose. Okay, crimson eyes. Oh no, that makes me scared because we had something about red eyes in Hua's memory. Oh my god, I can't believe that it's already connecting. By the time the reinforcements arrived, oh my god, it's really the 11th Hasha. I, I, I don't believe it. The 11th Hasha had already been strung up on an inscrutable crucifix, never to make another sound. Even the strongest will among the warriors shed tears. <sighs> the thing is, I think... I'm remembering something wrong. Because Himiko was the 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 fire hasha, right? But somewhere in my memory, I have one manga picture where there's Himiko but also Ice. Or was that just Himiko getting killed by Ice, which was probably Kevin? Or was that something different? Because there's something that confuses me. <laughs> anyway, even the strongest wilt among the warriors shed tears. They believed that this was the end for them. That this would be the grave of them all. Warriors and former friends alike. It seems like the 11th one was harder than... I mean, obviously it was harder than the ones before. But like, there is this, this focus here. But victory came ever so suddenly, and ever so incomprehensibly. There was ice, crimson ice everywhere. Although the battle had ended some time ago, the chill that surrounded that man still wrapped the entire battlefield. Oh my god, Kevin. Kevin in action? All the blood had been spilled upon this land was frozen in mid-air, trapped like a frozen dark red tableau of sea spray. A violet glow was slowly extinguished amidst it all. Even that eternal rose of crystal threatened to wither and shatter in the face of the tragedy before them. Carrying the unconscious girl, Elysia stood before that man. Unconscious girl, Hua? Question mark? The man, obviously, Kevin. And Elysia was there too. Kevin, how are you going to explain this? This is not the ending she would have hoped to see. Hua will understand. It is just as I said, we had no other choice. Ice and frost spread out like the veins of a leaf under the man's feet. The chill he wore like a cloak grew stronger in an instant. 
I need to know more about that. I'm not even sure if I'm just not connecting something that I read before. Or if I literally have no idea. Because... Which Hasha was it that Hua had... I mean, honestly, I wanted to say special feelings for, like, Himiko. Because it seems like Hua wanted to do something here. Or maybe wanted to make this Hasha's ending nice. Like, maybe that's what she was trying to do with Feng Huang Down. Like, maybe she was trying to give this Hasha a peaceful death. And because now Kevin kind of just killed it, killed them, that was not what Hua would have wanted. But also people were dying and it seemed to be very grave, so it was good that he did that. That's what I'm thinking so far. But do I want to know who it was? Ha. <sighs> Kevin. You may not wish to admit it, but you're practically an extension of May's will right now. <laughs> Which is interesting, because Honkai will extending to Hersha's May's will extending to Kevin. I just think that's interesting. That is obviously nothing more deeper than that, but it's just cool. Understanding you is not a difficult thing to ask. Even today you're just following her orders. I understand that. But look at the people who have fallen. They were your comrades. They believed in your strength and resolve more than anyone. Everyone understands how they would end up from the start. But still, they stepped forward because they believed in you. They believed that you would bring us victory and hope. Look at their faces, Kevin. Will your tears freeze? Oh, wait. Wait, did I misunderstand something? Did he freeze everyone there? Rep the entire battlefield. All the all the blood frozen mid-air. Oh, oh! Eternal rose of crystal threatened to wither and shatter in the face of tragedy before them. That that's Elevi Elysia's power, right? Wait. So only those three survived that, because Kevin. That, that's what she means, right? Because why else would she be kind of mad at him right now? Wait. Oh. I mean... Mm, I, I, want, I always want to try to, to understand all the, you know, perspectives. But it's really hard because we don't know. Did Kevin get the order to just kill the Hersha? No matter the consequences? Or no matter the sacrifices? Or was that something he chose? Or, like, couldn't he control his power that well? There are so many things I, I need to know. <sighs> but it's still so sad, he never... <sighs> anyway, their hopes have been forged into the hopes of many others. Were the circumstances any different, I would have made the same choice nonetheless. We cannot cling to past, Alicia. We are fighting for humanity's future. I hate people who don't keep their word. Gazing down at the girl asleep in her bosom, Elysia lightly tapped her own forehead against the girl's brow. But thanks to you, I can never fulfill my promise to her. Oh! Wait, what does that mean? No! She said little else, and taking Hua with her, she turned to leave. So she promised something to Hua, and because of this right here, because Kevin stepped in, she can't do it anymore. I, I have the feeling I should know who the eleventh Hasha is, because it doesn't make it. It's definitely not Himiko. Wait, is it? No, it shouldn't be. Like that was way before. I think that was the second, third, maybe fourth or fifth. Was it the sixth? <laughs> I believe that 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 a previous era Himiko was not that high of a number, so it's not about her. Or maybe it is, but in different ways. I, uh, what kind of promise? I need to know. The man stood alone amidst the scarlet icy ocean for a long time. He was a victor, but no one would cheer him. No one would cheer for such a tragedy. Suddenly, the man seemed to notice something. He heard a sound, 
the sound of breathing. As everyone watched, he raised that greatsword that symbolized destruction, only to break the frozen ground at his feet. As they all watched in shock, so he, so they are alive, so it was really just about what who I was doing, and since he interrupted her, that's the tragedy? Question mark? Maybe who I wanted to get the person who turned into a Hasha back, like make them a human Hasha, basically? I don't know, there are so many things. As they all watched in shock, he dug patiently, until that faint breathing once again reached his ears, and those of everyone else. Can you still stand, Kalpas? Kalpas was there, Kevin was there, Hua was there, and Elysia was there. And Kalpas probably almost died. Maybe? <laughs> I am so confused. But in the best way possible. Like, there would be no other way I would like to be confused other than that, because that is just... That is insane. I freaking love that. I I hope that the puzzle pieces will slowly fall into place about everything. I will definitely make a mental and actually no, not not just a mental note, but I will make a note of the 11th Hasha and and this whole thing because I don't think I know who it is or I don't think it was noticed other than them mentioning the 11th Hasha. Anyway, <laughs> Guys, this is it for today, and um, I can already tell you next time we will continue definitely Kevin's Remembrance Vessels first, and then we'll see. We'll, we'll see how far we get or who else will start, but that's what we'll do first until we literally cannot go on any longer in the Remembrance Vessels, and then we'll get back to Chapter 2. Because, you, you, like I said, <laughs> it's your advice and I'm following it just a little later. I'm a little slow. <laughs> but also, I hope all of you have a wonderful day. And please leave all your thoughts down below. Also, did you think... We, I, I mean, before you yourself read the recollections, did you think that Hua's story would be like that? Or were you kind of like a little bit stupid like me? Because... <laughs> I just I just want to know, you know. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope I see you next time. Bye.